Fellow St. Lucians at home and abroad, constituents of Denry North, the holiday season is upon us once again, and it is both an honor and a privilege to address you in my capacity as the Minister of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, and of course, as the Parliamentary Representative for Denry North. This is the time of year when we reflect on the events of the past 12 months, and also look ahead to the ensuing year with renewed hope and commitment. The year 2022 posed a few challenges to the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, but also presented opportunities for advancement in discipline, school security, and our overall performance in mathematics and regional examinations concerned the Department of Education immensely. That notwithstanding, we were able to register successes in key areas of programming. We continued rolling out the One Laptop Per Child program, and we also converted traditional classroom spaces into smart instructional spaces. To date, every student currently enrolled in the secondary school system has received a state-issued smart device. We remain committed to having one university graduate per household. In the past 12 months, we awarded more than 100 university scholarships to young St. Lucians interested in pursuing higher education, and we continue to aggressively pursue more scholarship opportunities for our citizens. With support from the European Union and the World Bank, we will in the coming weeks strengthen our TVET infrastructure by recruiting additional staff for capacity building with a view to giving greater impetus to technical education and vocational training. Work has started to convert four of our traditional secondary schools into vocational institutes, namely the PI Secondary, Angers Secondary, Grand River Secondary, and the Stanley John Odlum Secondary School. My team at the Department of Sustainable Development are amongst the best in the entire public service. The formulation of the Marine Litter Management Action Plan and the rollout of the Northeast and Southeast Coast projects to conserve biodiversity and raise public awareness on matters of environmental governance are notable achievements. On the global front, we continue to have a presence in the climate change arena and our voice has been projected in every corner of the globe, agitating for justice and support for our people who live on the front line of climate change. Like the rest of the developing world, we felt vindicated by the decision at COP27 to establish a loss and damage fund that will help St. Lucia and other small island developing states treat with the impact of climate change. I love and appreciate my constituents of the Mawea Valley and they love me more in return. In Denry North, we have since established that development is not always reflected in concrete and steel projects. Of late, there has been a heavy focus on human resource development and training in the constituency. Constituents of Denry North are benefiting from scholarships like never before, in much the same way their counterparts from other parts of St. Lucia do. Presently, young people from the Valley are enrolled in higher education programs at universities in Hungary, Morocco, Taiwan, Cuba, Barbados, Trinidad, Monroe College, and elsewhere. Despite the deliberate focus on human resource development and training, our infrastructure program has returned. The Alemon Road in Grand River has been rehabilitated for the CDP to provide much needed relief to residents of that community. The contract for the Upper Montego Bay to Augustine Cassius Road has been signed, as have the contracts for the Mountain to Marpin Inner Community Road in Olio. These concrete roads will be completed in mid-January. The Austin Hill Road will be rehabilitated in full through the work program of the Ministry of Infrastructure. Roadworks will also be undertaken in Apatat Lapel, Richfort, Belmont, Barflora, Mordesi, Toafwe, Cemetery, amongst other parts of the constituency. The Larissus Health Center will be reinstated in 2023 after a wait of almost eight years. Floodlights will be installed and a small changing room constructed on the Grenovin playing field in time for independent celebrations 2023. 
A program of support for farmers and small businesses will be unveiled in the new year. In spite of the successes of yesteryear and exciting plans for the future, let us pause for a moment to enjoy the season for what it is. To many, the holiday season represents the most wonderful time of the year. And with the season comes opportunities for renewal of friendships, strengthening of family ties, as well as creating an, an atmosphere for expressions of love, charity, kindness, and good cheer. It is the time of year when we are expected to do more to help those around us who cannot always fend for themselves. Let us allow the holiday season to renew our sense of community and love for each other. As we celebrate and enjoy the festive season, let us pay a thought for the many families that lost loved ones in 2022. We lost quite a few community stalwarts. Most recently, former principal of the Denny Rivier Combined School, Mrs. Francilia Jackson, known to many as Miss Nano. We also lost the legendary and irreplaceable Clement Charles, also known as Clement Alexander, or Akope to many. He was the Larissus playing field, and the Larissus playing field was Akope. We bury him and bid him farewell on the 7th of January, 2023. As I look back at the year ended, I must thank the many individuals, groups, and agencies that worked with me throughout 2022. Almighty God for health, wellness, and strength to discharge my duties to constituency and the country. My mother and family for your unwavering love and support every day. The Honorable Philip J. Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, for your continued confidence in my ability to serve in your cabinet with responsibility for portfolios critical to national development. My constituency support teams, the executive and membership of the St. Lucia Labour Party, the permanent secretary and staff of the Ministry of Education, the permanent secretary and staff of the Department of Sustainable Development, the Board of Governors, staff, faculty, and students of the South Louis Community College, the General Manager of the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority, the management of NSDC, the management of the Peter Management Area in Sufre, the Executive Director and staff of the CDMA, the OECS Commission, UNESCO, CARICOM, the Five Cs, and other regional agencies. On behalf of my family, constituency group, and the staff, and also on my own personal behalf, I would like to extend season's greetings to all St. Lucians, in particular the wonderful people of Belmont, Despin, Grand Riviere, Richfond, Grand Ravine, Denny Riviere, Gadet, Larissus, Lapel, and Olio. And may God bless you immensely with your family in 2023 and beyond. Pour the joy of Noël et puis la bonne année pour tout le monde cette ici qui ou ka resté en pays cette ici et ben ou ka resté l'autre pays. En particulier moi veut dire joy et Noël et puis bonne année pour toutes gens en constituant si moi qui ka resté en Den Renoff. Moi veut remercier pour tout ce poids au ban moi en l'année qui just fini et pour ka mandé ou ka travailler et puis moi pour faire l'année 2023 yon ko nou fait plus succès parce que nous fait en l'année qui just fini. Le gouvernement a mis un pile de marches en place pour aider les jeunes gens à continuer ainsi nous développer. Pour raison ça là, nous ni moun en plusieurs pays qui ca attendre l'école, ça anglais nous ca que université pour bay ko yo en chance pour ça achiver ces bagages là yo veulent achiver en ligne de carrière et puis bagages comme ça. Nous ca faire chemin en plusieurs pat en constituency à en l'année ça là qui ca venir. Chimé, Montigobé, Coca Pain, Boko Walcott pour descendre Bo Agostin. Nous avons signé un contrat pour ça. Même quand Chimé qui a sorti Bo Shop maintenant au Lyon pour entrer Bo Kai à Mampin. Chimé, dernier rivière qui a aussi tapé Bati, ça nous a créé Austin Hill. Et puis c'est du voir nous faire plus Chimé en place qu'on Belmont, Despin, au Lyon, l'appel et puis tout l'autre côté en Valia, que Chimé pas bon. Qui est-ce que l'occasion, il y a encore encore, pour remercier tout le monde pour si pour ou j'aime moins. Depuis que vous électez moi comme membre parlement pour garder en affaire. Et moi ca croire et puis la force bon Dieu et puis encouragement Jean de Renoff nous aurait fait plus succès encore à en l'année 2023. Once again, season's greetings to one and all and may God bless you and your family immensely 
throughout 2023 and beyond.